Hello, welcome back to my channel. Glad you're back. Hey, today we're going to go into what I call the bake part. And this is the bake part of my devil's elbow shoot. If you haven't seen the take uh, or where I go out and took the pictures, I'm going to try to link it up here. Go to this video and that's the take. How I actually shot it on location. Today we're going to go into Lightroom and I'm going to show you how I post process my images. Now we're going to use both Lightroom and Photoshop. Uh, I like to do focus stacking, so I'm going to show you how I do that and uh, all the little tweaks that I do in Lightroom before I even stack the images. So if that's something you're interested in, you're in the you're watching the right video. So let's go right into Lightroom. Okay, so here's the image, the focus stacked image that I'm going to show you how I did. I focused here, here, the bridge, I think back here, and one in the background. I like this cloud that I got here, so let me show you. That's what we want to get to. Now, it's subjective editing. That means I may not do the same exact thing. Try to get as close to this image as we can. So here is the original raw image. Now I cropped this for the video. Let me open this back up um, in developer, edit, and I'm going to go to the original as shot. There we go. Here's my raw image, how I brought it in. Now in my um, mics preset here, I have something called normal development. And you can see when I roll over it, what it does to the photo. It adds certain things. Now there's th certain things that I do in every photo, so I made a preset. So what I'm gonna do is click on that. Now I'm on the first image. Okay, you can see it down here, the first image. Let me make these a little bigger. Number one. And it's already done some stuff. Now I'm going to do some editing to this images. See, I'm gonna take down the highlights a little bit, open the shadows a little more, uh, add some blue. In fact, let's just go up here and hit auto and see what it does. Okay, it took a lot of the green out. So I'm gonna put green back in and put a little more yellow back in. And let's try the auto. Okay, that popped up the contrast a little more. My histogram looks pretty good. My shadows are a little deep. My highlights aren't quite touching. So I'm gonna add a little more highlights. There we go, something like that. Now I'm going to do that to all the other photos. So I'm going to, except for number six, the final photo, I'm going to click the last one and I'm going to hit sync. Then I'm going to check all, even the masking and synchronize. And you can see these pictures down here are changing. And sometimes it, it uh, takes a little while, especially with my high res camera. And now this is something new in the, um, um, I got the crop still on. Let me go back. There you go. Um, in the newest update, I'm going to select sky. And this does a pretty good job. You can see it, the green area is where the sky is selected. And what I'm going to do is add blue to the sky. Then I'm going to go down to dehaze. Let me get minimize this. You can see it's added a little blue. I'm going to take the exposure down a little bit and then take the highlights down a little bit. And I may add it too much blue. There we go. Now let's see a before and after if I can do that on here. Yeah, shut off this. And you can see how subtle the change was, but how dramatic it was. Now I don't like what happens here, and this is a recent trick that I learned. If you hold down the option key, you get this intersection, intersect, I'm sorry, and you can click on it, and I like to use a, a linear graduate and pull it down from the top. And it doesn't look as artificial that way. Okay, so I've done something to the first image again, so now I need to add that to the other images. I click number five, I sync, and I'm gonna add that mass that I just put in there. So synchronize. Uh, let's add another filter though. I just have to. I'm going to use the radio filter. My bri bridge is a subject, so I'm going to draw a little oval around the bridge. And what I'm going to do is brighten it up. 
And I'm gonna add a little more con contrast to that. Some texture and maybe a little saturation. Now the saturation slider you can get carried away with. Okay, now let's look at the before and after on that one. Before, after, before, after. Now, here's a cool trick. I'm gonna right click on it, duplicate and invert mask, and it's gonna change to the outside. Now I like to expand it just a little more both ways. And now I'm going to take down the exposure on the outside. There we go. It's kind of like a, a vignette. So let's look at the before and after on the vignette part of it. Before, after, before, after. And because I changed that, let's sync that. And I've got two more masks to add and synchronize that through the other photos. Uh, and I'm gonna replace this mask. Now I'll select all five photos and I'm going to go into Photoshop and show you how to do focus stacking. I'm going to uh, edit in and open as layers in Photoshop. And I'm going to fast forward this because it takes a little while. Okay, Photoshop got all five of those layers in here. Now what I want to do, I don't know if I can do this, I'm going to zoom in on this first area down here. See how everything's nice and sharp right there, but if I turn off a layer, it moved a little bit. Turn off that layer. And now the foreground's getting blurry, but these trees are nice and sharp. If I click again, now my bridge is getting sharp. Let me move, whoop, I want to move out a little bit. And now if I turn off this layer, you can't see a lot of change, but my background's coming in focus. And you can see down here, this is really out of focus. Now, what I'm going to do is turn on all these eyeballs, go back to full screen, and I'm gonna make sure that, uh, see how that cloud moves? And I'm getting a little branch movement too. So what I'm gonna do is pick one where I like the cloud the best. Uh, I'm just going to pick this one right here. So what I'm going to do is click on that, whoop, right click on it, and duplicate layer. And I'm going to call this movement. So I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to take my moving water and move it to the bottom of my stack. And now I'm going to shift click the top uh, image. Now I'm working on a Mac, so the, the keystrokes may be different on a PC. I'm gonna to go to edit, and I'm going to auto align these. And I use auto, the auto feature here, and I just say okay. Now this will take a minute or two. Okay, so it's it's lined up the, the photos. If I, uh, let me make the photo a little smaller. There we go. If I shut off, you can see the edge right here. It, it, it's called uh, focus breathing and because there it's even shown more there so um, later on in Lightroom I, I'll crop that out. So now I've got all the layers um, going again and now I'm going to shut off the, the uh, movement layer that we made so I'm going to command click on it. Now here's where the magic is. I go back into edit and I go to uh, auto blend layers. The only thing I uh, click here is seamless tones and colors and it's going to stack the images so I'm going to say OK. OK so you can see it made all these masks. The foreground all the way to the background now is in uh, sharp focus. So now I'm going to right click on these layers and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to merge the layers. And I'm going to put a white mask on there white reveals, dark conceals, and I'm going to hit B for brush. I'll make a nice big brush by using my bracket keys, and I'm going to paint across here, and you can see it's bringing in that cloud. There wasn't that much movement, but sometimes you can really see it. Now I'm going to flatten these images, make one, basically one layer, and now I'm going to save this. Command S for Mac users. And it's saving it. This is why I like Lightroom and Photoshop. They work seamlessly. And I'm going to click on my Lightroom panel. 
and here's our new how do I know it's a Photoshop document right there so it's loading it these are big files and now what I like to do so I don't get confused normally this picture wouldn't be here so I'm gonna pick the Photoshop document and the other photos that the other ones that I focused and I'm going to create a stack and then you don't have to do this I just like it a little neater so that shows me there's the original or the Photoshop photo and five others that made it this was our original photo coming in this is our new one and really um, here's where I would do some some tweaking so I'm gonna open it up a little bit darken overall image um, my blacks I opened up let's let's open up the shadows a little more maybe maybe warm it up just a little no no something like that I might add a little vignette to it now I take my vignette over to about 14 and then I turn my feather off just so I can see where it's at and now I'm going to add feather back in quite a ways and I think that's a little overdone, so I'm going to pull it back. Looks like there's a little magenta in my cloud, so I'm going to add a little more green to it. Good. Okay, I've got the global adjustments done. Now what I might do is um, add a brush, and I'm going to light my brush, overdo this, and I'm going to have auto mask clicked on, a brush about the size of that cloud, and I'm going to brush in a little more of this, this haze here. Now it's a little overdone. And you have this amount slider. You can slide it down and back and forth. And I like it right about there. Uh, and then I'm going to make another adjustment. I'm not liking my sky. It looks a little artificial now. So I'm going to have it select sky again. And I'm going to lighten it, take some of that effect off. And maybe a little more blue. Okay. Now, uh, the blue in there looks a little funny to me, so I'm going to go down. Uh, let me close this. I'm going to go down to HSL, stands for Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. And I found out if you pull the aqua to the right it gives you a little little better looking blues and now I'm going to do the backstroke key that's our before and that's our after okay and that's how I do my focus stacking in um, Lightroom using Photoshop and that would be my final image I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please uh, comment at the bottom I'll try to get back to you but uh, come back in the next few weeks. I've done a couple shoots and I post every Wednesday around 5.30. I usually do the take first and then the bake. Thanks for watching. Bye.